What's up everybody, it's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing, back with the forecast for August 13th. I'm on time this time, congratulations to me. High five. We'll try to do that one again. Uh, oh, we missed, all right. Anyway, we're gonna talk fishing. We're gonna talk bugs. We're gonna talk flows and weather, the normal stuff. It is late summer. Uh, we have some lower flows than normal, especially on a lot of our free stones. Uh, and, but we have the positive of having some good flows in the tailwaters. So, uh, high country's fishing well, warm water, warm water is always an option. Uh, some good late summer fishing. Uh, and from my perspective, I like summer, but falls right around the corner and I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, bug choices will reflect some of that stuff and we'll talk about what's coming up for the next two weeks. We're out here on the deck at the new shop, 1025 Zuni Street, on the banks of the Denver South Platte. I've seen some carp tailing out there uh, during our lunch break, and when we have time, may or may not hit those up. But we're going to talk bugs for trout for the upcoming two weeks. Uh, we're still in the middle of hopper dropper season, so I grabbed a PMX in Royal uh, for your droppers. Uh, hot belly PT with in the purple hot spot. And then uh, this is a Zeke special and it's getting into that time of year when uh, they can be super effective. Uh, bigger zebra midge, so 14, 16s, uh, good option. Obviously tailwaters, a variety of sizes will work there, but uh, big midges drop down below. You know, can you, you can put a pretty big distance between you and your, uh, your dropper and your hopper and get down there and get some uh, fish that might be hanging a little deeper. <clears throat> I also grabbed Tails Up Trico. This is an old Landon pattern. Seems like his patterns always make it into the these uh, these here reports with good reason. They're designed for the South Platte and they catch fish. Uh, and then obviously Trico's are around, Hopper's are around, you know, Terrestrial's are around. Uh, one thing that I think is you're going to start to see through uh, you know the end of August and into September. Blue wings are going to start to become more of a prevalent food source. They've been around throughout the summer. You know, midges, blue wings will be out around throughout the summer, but uh, you'll start to see some good blue wing hatches, uh, especially on cloudy days. So we grabbed Quigley's Extendo, uh, which is a good option <clears throat> for uh, dry flies. And then obviously for your tailwaters, good old Mercury RS2. I can see it. You can't see it, but it's there. Trust me. Uh, tailwaters, obviously, you know, the South Platte's bumped the, you know, from top to bottom. So I grabbed a wine worm and then a scud. Good options uh, for your sort of lead fly. You also throw a leech, throw Pat's rubber legs. Those have been catching fish on the tailwaters, also on uh, free stones. This is sort of a standby. Uh, so these are sort of supplemental options uh, to your standards. Um, and then it's also a good time to throw streamers because it's always a good time to throw streamers. So I grabbed a variety, but I'm going to grab what I think is the all time number one. I mean, that's, that's two flies. Let's grab this one. That's two flies too. Peanut envy in black, hard to beat it. Cloudy days, black's the color to go to. I honestly, I start with black. I usually end with black. I never touch olive. Olive's the worst. Maybe I'll throw some, uh, some yellow, but <clears throat> black's a good color. Throw that on a sinking line. Get it down, hit the banks, and you can uh, run into some nice fish this time of year, uh, especially in the mornings uh, when the water temp's a little bit cooler. Uh, so those are the bugs. Let's get to the flows right now. All right, so flows, as I mentioned, tailwaters are still pretty elevated, which has been good. Obviously, bigger bugs, bigger tippet, and the like. Uh, Decker's 373, 11 mile, 342, Dreamstream. Uh, 271. Uh, so those are really healthy flows. Fish are happy and water temps are going to be, uh, you know, in a good range for the most part. So uh, that's always a good thing, especially as we get, you know, these dog days of summer when water temps can become a bit of an issue, especially on some of the lower freestones. Uh, that's a positive thing. Uh, with the freestones, Eagle at Avon's way below average, 84.2. Uh, Colorado Kremlin's actually above average, thir thir uh, 1320. And then Salida, uh, Arkansas Salida is at 660. 660 is not a terrible flow for the Arkansas. We're not seeing you know, necessarily the water temp issues that we're seeing on the Eagle. Uh, obviously, you want to get out early, get off the water early uh, if you're going to go to something that has a little bit lower flow, uh, just to make sure you're not hitting 
uh, hitting water when the water temps are too elevated. So keep that in mind. Uh, the Colorado has been fishing well. I talked to Zeke and he was had high praise for this bu you know, recent bump in flows that we've seen on the Colorado and uh, fishing is sort of picked back up. You know, I think there was a period of time when water was starting to get a little bit lower and fish would be a little bit more sluggish. Uh, but, you know, you're starting to get into some, you know, more classic, you know, late August days with some good flows. So uh, hopper dropper sort of the ticket and uh, streamers as well. So uh, that's the, the flows. Let's talk about weather. All right, let's talk weather. Uh, so you, as normal, you used Vail and Deckers as sort of the proxies for the, uh, you know, some of our favorite fisheries. Uh, Vail, you're seeing temps in the high or mid 70s uh, lows in the uh, mid 40s has actually dropped over uh, the last couple of weeks. So we're seeing some lower temps overnight there. Uh, with Deckers, you're seeing temps in the mid uh, 80s, upper, you know, into the 90s, and then overnight lows in the 60s. Uh, obviously, there's no rain in the forecast for the next you know, couple of weeks, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, we prefer to have rain, especially with all the high country fires that we've been seeing, namely the one that uh, just erupted in Glenwood and sort of cut off uh, 70 for a lot of us coming from the east. So uh, keep that in mind. Obviously, do your rain dances, you know, what, whatever that might look like. You know, I might be outside in my skivvies doing a little dance, trying to get some rain up in the high country because I wouldn't mind seeing some of those fires contained. Uh, it's never good to see all that sort of destruction. So uh, that's that. That's the weather. Wrapping it up, uh, we're going to you know expect good hopper dropper fishing, uh, good streamer fishing uh, when the conditions are right. Otherwise, trichos, you're going to start blue see bluing olives play a, a bigger role. Midges are always around. So, you know, some caddis here and there. Um, you know, PMDs are still hanging around, but for the most part, uh, your hopper droppers, your trichos are going to be the main food source. So keep that in mind. Pray for rain, rain dances, all that stuff. We'll see you here in the shop, 1025 Zunai Street. If you haven't come by and see the new shop, uh, we ask that you do. It's pretty cool. We're pretty proud of it. So uh, until next time, we'll see you in uh, two weeks. Goodbye.